Good morning and welcome to the new week. It's the 9th of March. Today's temperatures will look more or less the same everywhere where we, you can hear Jacaranda FM. We will be looking at higher 20s and lower 30s, a partly cloudy start and then in places some rain this afternoon. We're starting with the build this morning in terms of front pages. Ongeluk is ouders schoolbus met ons sien daar en kom op die toneel af. A tragic story that hit a family in Lepalale from the worst school Alice Ras. Then the Pretoria News land claims hit home. Very interesting. The commission must be notified of pending property sales. And this is that story, of course, that's been running on the front page of the Pretoria News regarding the land claim by a former chief. And now residents in the city's northern and eastern suburbs have been warned that they cannot sell or develop their properties without informing the Commission of Restitution of Land Rights and the banks unwilling to give finance. The Star front page, Axe Road Rage Mystery, the uh, story of uh, that road rage incident that has now been scrapped. A lot of photographs um, on the front page and then tough gun laws could add years to jail sentences also on the front page of the Star. The Sowetan reflecting back to uh, the weekend story about the EFF rebels that tackled Julius Malema. It says the uh, court told how party elections were rigged through intimidation and papers claiming that delegates were forced to mimic the leader. On the citizen front page, rhino siege intensifies and this is about, of course, the uh, fight against rhino poaching, especially in the Kruger National Park. It says that 5,000 poachers entered the park last year with the intention to poach animals. And then the business day leading with the SAA's plans for staff cuts in a bid for stability, the headcount rationalization to include airlines managers. Those some of the stories that are reflected on the front pages of our newspapers today. Of course, Jack and News will be looking into some interesting court cases as well as that application in uh, the Northern Cape High Court by Don Steenkamp against his 20 years in jail for the murders of his parents and his sister Marcella. You can follow everything on Twitter at Jack and News as well as our news blog. Just go to jacarandafm.com.